Hey, thanks for tuning back in. Uh, I'm Alyssa with Reselling for Profit, and today I'm going to walk you through how to enter your sales data from different platforms into the tracking workbook. So I've already had a video on how to enter Poshmark sales, so I will be going into other platforms that are kind of maybe uh, you're participating in as well. So I'll go through Mercari, ThreadUp, um, TradeZ, um, and kind of walk you through the things that you need. Um, in the workbook to make it work um, to the best of its ability. So uh, let's jump into the demo file. Um, this is the one I have been using. Um, and as you can see, it's all the sales from um, a particular from the January that I inputted in the last video. Well, today we want to enter uh, sales from other platforms. So um, the idea of this uh, workbook is that you can track sales from multiple platforms. Um, we all sell on at least one platform, but many of us sell on more. And I thought five would be a good number to gauge kind of, I would think that we're all on about up to five platforms, but there's a couple of you that are on more platforms and I understand that. Um, so you want to select your five platforms in column D right on the left. And so um, I've selected some for you, but if you rename one of them to, for example, to Vinted, what will happen is that the drop down will now change um, to the associated one they select. So now you see Vinted. You see um, Vinted will now show up over here um, once the file refreshes. Um, and also it will change on the summary tab. If you want to add another platform, you can um, make a platform kind of category be dual purpose. So for example, Vinted and Depop. So if you only have maybe two sales a month on those platforms, um, just join them together. There's also ways to add a sixth platform and I'll do a separate video on that. So um, I'll go ahead and get started and I think or we'll, I'll walk you through Mercari. Uh, that's so uh, popular right now. Um, it's doing pretty well. Um, it has an interesting history and now it's up and coming. Um, so first thing you want to do, um, or one of the first things, is select Mercari when you're entering that sale. Now this row of data will be summarized just for the Mercari kind of um, little cluster on the summary tab. Now there's a lot of columns, and these columns are mostly driven by the Poshmark sales report, so you actually don't need all the information um, for the Mercari sale. Um, but it's possible to get that information. So for example, um, I'll go to one of my uh, recent orders from Mercari and use it as an example. So I sold this tank top for fourteen dollars. Um, the shipping fee uh, was four twenty-five. Uh, the selling fee was uh, one forty, and I made eight dollars and thirty-five cents. So I have my purchase date right there. Uh, so January fifteenth. What's nice about Mercari is that it is possible, I think, on the app to actually see when you listed it. Um, I won't go into that, but. So say I listed it about um, five days before that. Um, I wonder if I'll right click and see if it says anything about that. So if I go to the item, um, I'll let that load. But I want to get the order, the item name. So I got that. And I'm just going to copy and paste it under listing title. Um, the order ID is optional, but you saw that um, it was there, right there, item ID. Um, that's just a good way just to have your bases covered, um, have that record if you need to go back to it. Now, these categories are driven by the Poshmark sales report, but it's pretty easy to fill it out on your own. Um, so, for example, I want, I think, tops would be, yep. So, you want to have it be the same spelling and capitalization of the um the ones from the Poshmark sales report. So um, this is a tank top. So let's see, I think it'll, it'll be just tank. Um, or maybe it'll be tank top. Okay, so I'm taking a risk here. Uh, the brand is simply, the color is green, the size is uh, four. Okay, let's see. Oh look, so this is my listing and I posted on 1229.18. So I'm just gonna copy and see if I can paste that into the report. I don't think it'll work perfectly. Oh, it did. So we're good to go. Uh, size was four, bundle order no, offer order no. 
The probably made an offer actually. Yeah, I think I accepted an offer on that one. So that's good to know. Uh, it's not new with tags. So order price. Okay, so this is where things get interesting. So the order price is kind of the list price. Um, it's $14. Um, I did provide a shipping discount, uh, which was um, $4.25, and I usually um, just have everything under um, a pound on Mercari. So let's see. So this formula should auto-update shortly. We see this working over here. Um, and look, it says $8.35, uh, but we're, we're, um, and as you can see, it auto-deducted the selling fee. So for Mercari, um, my workbook does auto calculate the fees, um, but you just have to double check that as well if that's what actually happened. Uh, for example, maybe they'll change their fee structure at some point, just keep that in mind. Um, buyer state, you can get that from the label. Um, if you want to if you want to know um, really precisely what states you, states you ship to, that's where why you want to put that in there. So I'll put Illinois. Um, you can put the username, um, so the prop, so you'll find the item number and the cost will pull in, and the profit will show up. So that's a Mercari sale. Um, I'll jump straight into ThreadUp. Um, that's also super popular right now. Um, so this is one of my bags, and I'll just use it as an example. Um, so we now know that ThreadUp has a structure where you can do upfront payout or potential consignment earnings. But really, whichever one you accept, um, once you accept it, it's a firm price. There's no more fees taken out except for PayPal. Um, so you would just select um, the name. I'll paste in Zara Blazer. In the drop down, I'll select. Um, oh, I don't have ThreadUp listed. So you don't want to change these platforms um, once you've started entering. Um, your um, sales so you want to make sure that like those five once you start you can't really change them um, if you want to change them reach out to me and I'll help make sure that it doesn't um, mess anything up for you um, so um, I haven't entered any eBay sales yet so I'm or actually vented so I'll change this back to thread up um, like it was earlier and so now I can actually select thread up um, so I got paid out on the 7th, so that be actually is what I consider the order date. Um, I won't have a listing date. Um, the order ID can be the bag number. And again, you just go through, um, and make sure to kind of use the same categories as Poshmark would do, just to make sure that when you do the sales analysis, um, it's easier. Um... Uh, probably an Excel, bundle order, no, no, no. Okay, so order price. Um, so we can see that I got a whopping four ninety five for it, which was actually better than the other Zara Blazers. Don't worry, I paid like sixty nine cents for these. It's okay. They were new with tags. It was they were in my death pile for forever. Um, and so for thread up, uh, what I've done in this workbook is that I am deducting the PayPal fee um, for the net earnings. Um, I think most of us use that feature instead of getting the card issued to you. Um, when I did that once, I kind of lost the card. So I actually do recommend just to go straight to PayPal. Within like a couple of minutes, you can transfer it to your checking account, and it's great. So it took out the, what, like the 2 for 5% um, that I would get once I cash out. Um, I like to enter thread up sales when um, I accept the, um, the offer, the dollars. Um, I know it takes like a, forever it's for the money to actually show up in your account, but I usually, I always consider the order date to be when um, kind of the date out here uh, tells me it is. So yeah, um, buyer state, uh, you won't have that. Um, and again, kind of make sure that it's all kind of recorded. So that's Mercari and ThreadUp. Um, next uh, video, I'll be talking about other platforms. So thank you for tuning in.